Hi, everybody. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, guys. Hello. How are you doing? How's everybody doing here? Feliz jueves. ¿Cómo les está yendo? How is it going? Fine. Fine. Un buen jueves. Do you have a good Thursday? Kind of good, not so good. Tell me about your day. ¿Cómo estuvo? ¿Listos para el fin de semana? Ready for your weekend? Yes. Yes. Hello, no, hello. probably not. Hi. Good hello evening. there. Good evening. So, gracias a todos. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Gracias por estar acá temprano. Porque ya estaban like super early there. Ready to start classes. And I'm happy about it. Uh, well, you know, today tenemos la clase número cuatro. So, this is session number four. And the, um, ya casi no se nos va la primera semana. T tomorrow es el primer día que tenemos, eh, you know, the last day, let's say, for this week. Así que uh, I'm super happy. No lo vamos a sentir. It's going to go flying. Eh, por ahí, eh, gracias Norberto que me recordó la tarea. Ya están actualizadas todas las tareas. So you have all homework ready. Uh, algunas tareas son más de, de desarrollo personal. So no es que vayan a enviarme confirmación que you know, que completamos algún ejercicio or anything, eh, solamente es como para ustedes, para que nos pongamos al día con algunas palabras quizás nuevas, probably in the exercises que les compartí, van a encontrar vocabulario nuevo, van a encontrar expresiones nuevas, o eh, la pronunciación de alguna palabra que tal vez a veces la confundimos, vamos a poder confirmar ahí para que la encaminemos por la forma correcta. Así que los invito a que nos tomemos un par de minutitos para revisar las tareas de la plataforma. El primero sí es nuestra tarea de listening, right? Um, es inglés británico por si no lo han escuchado todavía. So you can go there y pues me pueden compartir la capturita cuando ya lo tengan listo. And si alguien se queda como trabado, let's say, por supuesto, pueden pedir ayuda a los compañeros en el sentido de no me pasa toda la copia, right? <ríe> no compárteme todo el script, sino eh, al inicio, en este segundo, no comprendí qué decía, me pueden ayudar, and that's fine, porque eso es como cooperación, ¿verdad? Y colaboración. Right. Yeah, so ayudarse con palabritas, ayudarse con alguna expresión, algo que no está claro, está súper, súper bien. Uh, pero tampoco todo el script. Eh, mira, pásame el script, right? <laughs> That's not the idea, porque la intención es que desarrollemos listening por nuestra propia cuenta. And that's very important. So, um, si todavía no ha podido entrar, let me know, please. Eh, si tienen alguna dificultad con las tareas, let me know, para poder hacer eh, la actualización right there. Now, um, vamos a dar inicio a nuestra clase con la asistencia, como siempre lo hacemos. Si me ayudan con la camarita un par de minutitos, please, let me go ahead and check our agenda. Y me confirman con un present, like here, or anything, para que nos quede confirmación that you are right here. So... Let me see. Okay, I got Ana Delmi. Ana, me confirma si ya está por acá. No yet. Brenda. Está mute. Ana oh, Delmi. okay. Thank yeah. you. Sorry. Yeah, lo que sucede es que no, no logro verlo. I cannot see the, the screen. Delmi. Thank you then. <laughs> eh, Brenda. ¿Está por acá, Brenda? Brian. Hello, teacher. I Hi, am Ana. Thank you so no, much. No, no se le quería desmutear, <laughs> pero ya le escuché. Thank you very much. Brian, ¿está por acá, Brian? No me digas. Sí, oh, there you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Carlos Bautista. Por ahí ve a Carlos, si no me equivoco. Es en mute. Es en mute. Already. Uh, Jasmine. Dani Anthony. Dani, Dani. Present teacher. Thank you very much. And Dani Sadalberto. Present. 
Thank you, Dennis. Uh, Giovanni. Guadalupe. Present. Gracias, Guadalupe. Thank you so much. Jacqueline. Jackie, Jackie. Okay, okay. Jocelyn. José Ignacio. Norberto. Present teacher. Eh, Ignacio, no sé, sorry, no sé si me logró, si está por ahí. No, ok. No. Thank you, Norberto. Eh, Marvin Alexander. Well, Marvin Bonilla. Miren, Claribel. Oh, ok. So, miren, Miriam. Eh, Moses. Present. Gracias, Moses. Thank you very much. Pedrina. Present, teacher. Pedrina y Liana. Thank you. René Osvaldo. No yet. Eh, Ricardo Fuentes. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ricardo. Eh, yes. Sandra Rodas. Ángel. Present the teacher. Thank you, Ángel. Okay, I'm glad. Glad to have you here. Eh, Natalie. Present. Thank you very much, Natalie. Marvin López. Marvin está por acá. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, let me see. Marvin's not here yet. Eh, Sandra Flores. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. And Ingrid. Ingrid, ¿está por acá? Todavía no. Okay. So, gracias a todos por la confirmación. Gracias present, por también teacher, present. ayudarnos con la camarita. Hey, Marvin. Present. Hey, Alex. How you doing? Let me see. Escuché a Marvin Bonilla. Jacqueline eh, llegó. Me dijo soy, aquí estoy. Jacqueline. Yo soy, yo soy. Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Hello. Present Jackie, teacher. No ya me cool. Thank you. Gracias. Carlos. Yes. I heard you already. Thank you so much. Creo que se había quedado en miedo, but thank you very much. ¿Alguien más me hizo falta? ¿Did I miss anybody? Ok, Sandra ahí. Rodas dice que tiene problemas con el audio, pero por ahí está. Thank you so much. Ok. So, guys, eh, thanks a lot, everybody. Oh, my camera is down. Wait. Wait just a second. So, ok. So, we are going to uh, check today a couple of things. Let me present my screen. So, here we have... Uh, session number four and the objective for today says participants will be able to use be going to in context so este tema es como eh, va a ser easy porque ya lo habíamos visto ya tenemos una idea de cómo utilizarlo so today nos vamos a enfocar en practicarlo right so we are going to use it in context in a conversation about products are, that are being shipped to their home places So, no sé si alguna vez han comprado algo en línea, han visto esta palabra ship or shipping, ok? Or the, some of us, you know, can be also very familiar with this word. And uh, ya vamos a ver a qué se refiere. We will check what it refers to. Antes de dar inicio, we have a little warm up here and it says talk about abilities. So, el día de ayer revisamos el tema de can and can't para hablar de las cosas que podemos hacer, que está dentro de nuestras posibilidades. So today I have some questions for you, hablando de estas posibilidades and these abilities. So people, ¿qué pueden hacer ustedes? What can you do? And I have a question one. So um, can you play musical instruments? I want to listen to you guys. Who can play musical instruments? And what can you play, of course? Guitar? No, guitar. No, nothing. <laughs> okay, only the guitar. Alguien más puede tocar any other musical instrument? The piano, violin, drum. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. What do you play? I can play trumpet. Ah, the trumpet. It's true, the trumpet. Yes. Creo que me suena en la sinfónica, right? 
Yes, René oh. can play eh, in trombone y no sé cómo se diría que tocó cuatro conciertos con la Sinfónica Nacional. Yeah, really? I remember you mentioned that you were in the orchestra. Okay, oh. yes, thank you so much. And thank you for representing, you know, the country. So that's very cool. Sounds good. Alguien más, anybody else? Girls, what about your musical abilities? Girls, can you play any musical instrument? Guitar, cello, nothing? I guess no. Okay. I think oh, we don't have go. any. Okay. Maybe not. All right. Let's go with the next dance. Oh, okay. Can you dance very well? Who can dance very well? Is there anybody who can say, oh, I can dance? Alguien puede no. bailar? Can you dance? But no, very sí. well. No. 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 Nobody. I. No. Carlos. Yes. Is that yeah. you? Can you dance very well? Yes. What type of music can you dance? Tropical music. For example, like Latin music. Yeah. Uh, no like you know salsa, merengue, cumbia, all this type of music. Yes. Ah, no, okay. In this moment, I have a. Parejo dice. Uh, would you? I'm sorry. You have a pound more. Mi pancita ya no me deja mucho. Oh, you have, <laughs> do you have a belly? Okay, do you have a belly pot? Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So you don't. You are not in shape. No está en condiciones. Yes. <laughs> You're not in shape. Okay, okay. Yeah, but that's very cool. So Carlos can. What about the rest? Guadalupe, can you play? I mean, can you dance? Can anybody dance, Pedrina? Ingrid? Teacher, hello. Hello. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you, Miss. Gracias por conectarse. Uh, are you driving or are you the co-pilot? Teacher. Yes? Brenda y la señorita Delgadilla tienen así como cara de, de bailarinas. Do you Ooh. think so? Brenda, can en, you dance? En grupo de danza. Yes, teacher. Oh, yeah, she can. Salsa. Salsa Ooh. music. Ooh. Wow. Okay, wow. Porra. Es posible, Brenda se ve como que ya está en la disco. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, no, she looks like driving. Uh -huh. She looks like driving. <laughs> wow, but sorry. that's salsa. Okay, no, no, be sorry. Also. Thank you. Uh, who was the other person? Jacqueline. Jacqueline, do you have musical skills? Jackie, Jackie? I don't know why, but for me, it's Ingrid. I see Ingrid, like she dances a lot and like she has a lot of abilities. So, but creo que todavía no está uh, around. Ingrid, can you, can you confirm? Creo que todavía she, I haven't heard heard. No lo he escuchado so far, so maybe not. What about boys? Aparte de Carlos, anybody else has a dancing abilities? Moses? No. Brian, Brian. I'm not. Norberto? No. no. Ricardo? Yes. Oh, what do you dance, Ricardo? Yes. What type no, of music? Salsa. Salsa, okay. That's very cool. Okay, so Latin no. music. Dog sucio, dog sucio. Dog sucio. <laughs> no, reggaeton, yeah. De todo, And, de todo. Okay, okay, that yes. sounds good. <laughs> Igual Dani, si Dani en no. este momento, en este momento es que se hace difícil. Mm, ya, I don't ya know. De las dos, ya de las dos en adelante ya, Dancy. No. But, yes. but who? Pero quién de ellos? Dani, Dani, uh, Anthony or Dani Alberto? Because I see Alberto yeah. like he's not into dancing. I don't know why. No. Lo veo dancing, más como de headbanger, como el tipo yeah. rockero, you know? I see him more like mush. a headbanger. Al, um, um, okay. What about the following? No, no. Alberto baila. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Huh? Got it. No worries, Ingrid. Got it. Um, what about three? Can you ride a bike or a motor or a motorcycle? I love bike, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Ah, okay. So I okay. Now I hear more boys. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 What about cooking? Can you cook well? 
Not just cooking, but well. Can you cook very well? I mean, uh, I cook, but yeah. not very well. Okay, you cook, but not very well. Okay, but you cook, surviving seafood. level. <laughs> okay, seafood. Okay, Pedrina, seafood. can you cook very well? I see Pedrina looking for the for the microphone button. Okay. <laughs> Cooking. Can you cook? Oh, there you go. Pedrina, can you cook very well? Teacher. Oh, I lost her. La perdí. I lost her. Yes, Marvin, tell me. I can ride a bike, a motorcycle. You can ride a bike. Okay. Both. The bike and the motorcycle. Yes. Okay. Yes, Sounds good. Oh, Pedrina, number four. Can you cook well? Puede cocinar? Can you cook very well? Yes. What can you cook? What is the best dish you make? What is the best dish? Este, uh, can you pupusas? Pupusas, wow, nice, okay. Any type of pupusa, cualquier tipo de pupusa, any Chicken type of pupusa. Mm -hmm. Like pupusas of, I don't know, chicken, shrimps. Chicken. Probado? Pumpkin. Bread, bread, Ah, okay, okay, pork, etc. Okay, nice, so pupusas for Pedrina. We have to make a pupusada, you know. That fish. would be cool. <laughs> fish, okay. Fish, what about fa? Uh, yeah. So, um, soup, shark? like soup. Shark, shark. No. Shark, like shark? the shark. Yeah. Can you? Okay. Se puede cocinar yeah. el tiburón. Can you eat? Is that yes, edible? Yes. 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 Okay. Fish. Filete. Fish. Okay. Filete. Wow. Uh, good. Okay, yeah. okay, so definitely I have to taste it. So no falta probarlo todavía. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what about five? Let's take a look at five. Can you solve math problems easily? Can anybody solve math exercises, math problems easily? ¿Alguien tiene habilidad oh. numérica? Dani. Oh. Okay, Norberto? No. <laughs> oh, I, okay, I heard you did. No. Okay. Uh, Danny, more or less, more or less. Anthony, yes. okay, Richard, mm. and, and right, right, right. A, right. Me. a little, Adalberto, okay, Mush. what about girls, yeah. what about you girls, can you solve like math problems easily, Ignacio, hi Ignacio, hi teacher, good evening, are you good at, are you good at math, <laughs> yes, I, I, I like the, the problem the, of math. Okay. And, okay. Uh, the the numbers is is my is my my job. Oh, okay. Very good to hear. Very nice. Exactly. Okay. So this is like math problems. Yeah. And yes. especially, see, su trabajo tiene que ver. You know, I guess it's a yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about number six? Take a look at this. Can you climb any tree? Guys, what about the ability of climbing trees? I can play so with los árboles. Can you climb any tree? I can. 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 Anthony, okay. Yeah. It's a good uh, flower. It's hot. Uh, oh, from okay. It's a new árbol. Pero, uh-huh. No, but, 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 <laughs> so that, that is for la varita, Anthony. <laughs> okay, okay, that's okay. Uh, Angel, I think that I heard. Yeah, exactly. The problem is bajarse, teacher. I know. Wow. It's more easy to bajarse. No. I admired. I admired these people que se pueden subir a los árboles de coco, like the big coconut trees, because okay. that's a ability. Okay, miss. You can do it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Really? Well, you yeah. know, I'm more like, hasta no ver no creer, so I have to see a oh, picture. Okay. <laughs> I a have picture. to see a picture of you on top of the tree. A chair, a chair, a chair victory. 
Oh, cool. That would be nice. Okay. Girls, what about girls? Do we have any girl with that special ability? Claribel, Melissa. Uh -huh. I haven't heard. I haven't heard of girls today. Come on, what's going on? Tell me, uh, can you climb? Or, or could you climb? Or cuando estaba, like, you know, esos tiempos de juventud, could you climb trees? <laughs> Se subía a los árboles. Because to be oh. honest with you, I never did it. So, hey, teacher, no, teacher. Si varonila, si varonila, si. No. No, no necessarily. For example, I climbed uh, the guava. So, los árboles de guayaba. So, I climbed the guava trees. Oh, and, tree, uh, uh, coffee? Coffee. Oh, but it is some bajito. So the coffee, sí, sí. uh huh, the coffee tree. No, I know no, no, no. Well, yeah. ellos eran más como quebrar uh, las ramas. Okay. So I broke, <laughs> I broke the branches. I, broke. I didn't okay. climb them. Exactly. Okay. So uh -huh. uno de mango. Wow. Yeah. No, but they are super high. So I could not do it. Let me see what else. Uh, the orange. So the orange trees. I remember I climbed like in the tangerine y las de mandarina. Uh, so they they were not so so tall. How is it? Uh, oh, can you repeat? I'm sorry. Um uh, el árbol de naranja tiene espina. Oh yeah, it has thorns. It has some uh, thorns. It has some thorns. So it's a little hard, but not impossible. But I, I remember I did it. Um, this is for Pedrina. You know, we already heard that she could make some pupusas. Uh, what about the rest of you? Tell me, could you, can you make pupusas? Yes, teacher, I can. Oh, very nice. A true Salvadorian woman. Okay, uh, let me see, Guadalupe. Can you make pupusas, Guadalupe? Yes, I can too. Oh, cool. Natalie, can you make pupusas by any chance? Danis, can you make pupusas? <laughs> <laughs> and boys, what about you boys? Who can make pupusas? I can. Natalie? <laughs> I can't make pupusas. You can't? What about tortillas? Can you make tortillas? I can't. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, but you try. Okay, so, you know, when we are hungry, sometimes it, we can eat anything. What about this one? Number eight is a little bit more serious topic. So can you organize your money very well? Son bien or buenos organizadores de su dinero. Yes, buenos administradores. Yes. Can, can you organize, organize your money no, very well? Organize. No, yes. no, no, no. no. No, I mean, in yeah. such a way que podemos pasar el, el mes so we can uh, complete the month and we yes. still have some savings. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Me quedan los vueltos. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, and the next question is related to that. Can you save money? ¿Logran ahorrar un poco? Can you save money? Yes. ¿Son buenos yes. ahorradores? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, a little. Oh, yes. A little? <laughs> no, really? So you cannot, you're not, okay. I, I, I have four children. You have four children. Oh, but, but what about saving? <laughs> That's it's my, it's my saving. My saving. Ellos son los investment. <laughs> so ellos son la inversión, they are the investment, okay. So, and uh, we have just one more. Can you stay away from your cell phone for a day? Is this possible? Can you stay away from your cell phone? If you forget your cell phone, you're good, and you don't like feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I can. Away? Only, only, five, only five minutes and I miss the, my cell phone. <laughs> exactly. So only yes, five I minutes, can. you said. What about the rest? Can you stay away from your cell phone for a day? Como cuando lo olvidan, you know, when you forget your cell phone. So, is that okay with you? Are you fine without your cell phone? Yo me yes, regreso I can't it, uh, okay, I se regresa. Care. So you go back no. to pick it up, okay? Yeah. I mean, I think I'm good. Um, yeah, I can be without my cell phone for a day and I'm good, you know? 
especially porque siempre se me olvida descargarlo, so I'm okay. Uh, and if I don't have battery, I'm just totally fine. So I'm super, yes, tell me, Ignacio. For example, this moment, mm -hmm. I don't forget my cell phone in my car. Oh, okay. And you don't and, need and, uh, it. Is is in is in my in my car. I forget the cell phone. Okay. So after the class, mm -hmm. I'm going to pick it up. Get up, yeah. Okay, you you will pick it up. Uh, I'm going to write it there. I'm going to pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up. Pick it up. Es como recogerlo, right? Voy a ir a traerlo. So you're going to pick it up. Mm -hmm. Pick it up. Pick it up, okay. exactly. Oh, okay, okay, good. I have my cell phone, but if I'm busy, I don't use it. I try not to use it because, you know, I get used to that, but yes. Very good, nice answers. And I'm super glad because everybody, I think, understood the questions. So I'm glad we are improving with vocabulary. Now, let's move on a little bit. And now, oh, okay. I have some equations for you about the topic the for today that is shopping and selling, like buying and selling. At some point, todos hemos vendido algo. We have sold something. O hemos comprado. We have bought something. So take a look at this question we have here. Um, ¿Alguien ha, ha vendido algo recently? Have you sold yes. anything? Yes. Yeah. yes. So, what did you sell? ¿Qué vendieron? What did you sell? A motorcycle. A motorcycle, okay. ¿Alguien más? Anybody else? A cell phone. A car. A cell phone. A cell phone. Console. Console. A console, okay. A console. 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 Anything else? Shoes. Shoes, okay. Cheer. Okay, the cherry. So what about this? How do you send your products to others? Cuando venden algo, ¿cómo lo envían? O ¿cómo lo venden? You know, what is the process? Eh, ¿Piden que les paguen antes? So do you ask for the money before? O es no, como dando, dando, hand to hand. Hand to hand. Hand to face. So this is more like face, face to face, face interaction. Yeah. Okay. Face to face. Okay. Do you give the product personally? So bang y lo entregan face to face? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I guess everybody does it. All right. Acompañado de otros cinco. <laughs> Especialmente por el dinero. I understand. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Or do you receive the products later? Because this is another way. So hacen la transferencia antes y luego esperan su producto. Mm, what do you think about this? Uh, ¿Lo harían? Would you do it? Roll with this. Like pagan primero y reciben algo después. Uh, what do you think? Depending on the place, the store. Depending uh -huh. on the place in the store. Okay. So, for example, ¿en qué caso lo haría? Where would you do it? Simán. Okay, you Simán. Simán, uh, the, pur the purchases is online. Okay. Uh, pay and let uh, uh, you pick uh, up pay, uh, the product in, mm -hmm. in the sales. <laughs> that is true. That is, uh, yeah, I remember. I bought some earphones in Siman too. Yeah, exactly. Como tres días después, you receive the product or you pick up your product. But what about this one? So, do you trust? Trust is esto de confiar, you know, de creer en esas transacciones. Do you trust online transactions? Como Carlos dice, you know, in Siman you can do it. Confíen en este tipo de transacciones, like pago primero, recibo algo después. Is that okay with you? Yeah, yeah. Yes. It depends. It depends. Uh, it depends. Only, that, only when it's a formal uh, yeah. a store. Okay. When it's a personal, uh, how, for example, uh, con pugangas, etc. Okay. Uh, it's no conf uh, confiable truth. Ok, so it is not, vamos a ver esta palabrita que es confiable, right? Podemos utilizar, trust es la palabra confiar, but para confiable we can use the word reliable, se los escribo en el chat, reliable, y así se produce, reliable, ok, 
And uh, so, también tenemos la segunda palabra que es trustworthy. Trustworthy. Puede ser una persona, puede ser una transacción. It can be any of them. So, eh, let me okay. share this para que podamos pronunciarla and we practice pronunciation as well. So, tenemos estas dos palabritas. We have this word. One second. So, uy, ¿quién tiene hambre? Okay. So, we have this word that is reliable. Everybody, please repeat with me. Reliable. 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 Perfect. Reliable. Exactly. Reliable. Nice. Wow. Yes. Remember me. What is reliable? Sure. Reliable is que usted puede confiar. That you can trust. Reliable uh, is confiable. Mm -hmm. For example, I can tell you, oh, Roberto is a very reliable person. Yo le puedo dejar dinero y sé que él es como bien honesto con ellos. So yo puedo confiar en oh. él. So that's reliable, que se puede confiar. Or, tenemos esta palabra que es trustworthy, que también es como digno de confianza. So especially con este tipo de transacciones. If the transactions are reliable, if they are trustworthy, okay? Significa que podemos confiar en ellas. We can trust those words. So, pronunciamos la segunda, please. Trust. 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 Y ahora la segunda parte. Word. 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 Okay. Y al final le agregamos la I. Trustworthy. 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 Trustworthy, exactly. So, reliable, reliable, reliable and trustworthy. Reliable, trustworthy. reliable. Trustworthy. Ex very good, exactly, and trustworthy. So, Come significa on. que I podemos board. confiar en ellas. Eh, tell me. Tell me, tell me. Creo que escuché something there. Okay, so I guess that, no, right? So, maybe, <laughs> depending de qué tipo de empresa sea, we can trust or we cannot trust. So, tenemos the following picture here, and it's this one. Uh, no sé si alguien ha visto esto. Have you ever seen this? This is called a shipping label. Yeah. Alguien ha visto esto? Who has seen a shipping label before? Yes, miss. Okay, so Danny's. Yes, teacher. Anthony. Alguien más? Anybody else? I. Okay, Carlos. I I make a uh, a uh, ¿cómo se llama? The label. Oh, so you label. made the label. I make a white bill in the DHL system. Okay, cool. So Ooh. you have experience with this. Amazing. So we are going to use your experience as well. Anybody else? Alguien más ha uh, trabajado con esto before? A shipping label? Hi. Already? Already, yes. so I guess I got no more. Okay, so what is a shipping label? In your words, ¿cómo nos explicarían un shipping label? What is this? ¿O para qué se utiliza? When do we use it? The shipping label is uh, the number, mm -hmm. uh, only or uh, unique number mm -hmm. for identify Mm -hmm. uh, you shipment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Shipment on the your package. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Uh, in any case, uh, is package was is one box. Okay. But yeah. it's shipment when is a lot of what? box. Okay. Amazing. Thank you for the explanation. Emojis for Carlos, guys. Thank you so much. That was perfect, you know? Exactly. So this is like uh, a way to identify the product, especially um, we have some words here. As you can see, it's a tracking number. So yes. if you have ever worked with DHL or um, UPS, you know, so you need the, um, wait, USPS, USPS, 
So you have the tracking number, like to identify where your product yeah. is. O si alguna vez han enviado por correos del Salvador, if you have uh, family in other country, and you have or, used the post office. Or so, import or export. Or import and export, exactly. So yeah. you are given a tracking number. Yeah. Recently, yeah. envié un documento eh, autenticado, you know, and the, in Correos del Salvador, they gave me a tracking number para saber a dónde estaba mi paquete. So where yes. it was y en cuánto tiempo llega, right? So, um, what do we have? ¿Qué tipo de información ven? What type of information do you see? Aparte del tracking um, number, that is the most important thing. Is from the units. Uh, the units from, yeah, okay. From. Okay, what else? Address. Address, exactly. Address. Any, anything else? The weight. The weight, quantity. exactly. Quantity. The quantity, the weight, okay. Quantity. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, import, import of date. Also, we have the date. Okay, very good. Yeah. Now let's take an exercise. Oh, net, net, oh, net weight. Yes, the it's weight. Very important. Exactly. Yeah. Like how yeah. heavy. Mm -hmm. Like how yes. heavy it is. Mm -hmm. okay. So in number three, we have it. read the shipping label information and answer the questions. Solo vamos a buscar el numerito, right? We are just going to look for the information, como a donde está, where it is. Um, remember, hay una opción acá que se llama anotar. So, ustedes pueden circular, you can circle, and if you can help me, that would be wonderful. Number one, what is the shipping address? Can you identify the shipping address? Um, what is the shipping address? Literal road, number 24. Um, Trevor? Oh, thank you. Okay, I see Carlos already oh. circled it. Yeah. All right, thank you. So we can see the shipping address right there. All right. What about the mailing address? So what is the mailing address? Where is mailing? The other one we have is how many units are in the package? And what is the manufacturing date? So les voy a dar un minutito. I'll give you one minute para que podamos encontrar esta información there. And uh, you can circle, o también hay una opción que es de buscar una forma, you know, que buscar un circulito para que sea más fácil. So I'll give you one minute so you can help me. The package. Les tiembla la mano. <laughs> Uh -huh. The manufacturing date. No pasaron por Kinder. The mailing address. Okay. Oh, Brian, what? Okay. El Parkinson okay. está afectando. Okay. No, no, no. Él está identificando la cuatro. So Brian is identifying their number four. Creería que es como la flechita para conectarla, you know? Okay, very nice. I get it. So. Okay. What about the rest? Ya tenemos no, no, todas. No, no, no. <laughs> Are we missing anything? Nos falta algo. Yeah, right. We kind of got everything. So this is sent from Glenway San Carlos uh, CA uh, to Literal Road 34 in La Union. How many units? Uh, they already selected 65 units. Okay. And the manufacturing date, exactly. We have MFG, uh, está por acá, MFG. And that, that is, oh, I got a question for you. ¿Qué es el primero, el mes o el día? What is the first? Remember, esto es English, English the format. Month, uh, the, the, el mes, month. El mes, exactly. Month. So the first, this is December. 12, okay, December oh, 4th. December, exactly. de, December 4th. This is December 4th. Exactly. So, siempre que veamos fechas en inglés, remember, la primera no es el día, sino el mes. 
So this is 12, that is December, December the 4th. Para nosotros sería el revés, right? For us sería como abril 12, but not here. Mm -hmm. Not in this case. Okay, very nice. So, teacher, yes. A question. Yes, tell me. Sorry, what, what is the difference in the sender in the uh, from the remittent? Uh, what is the difference entre uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to tell you uh, because I'm working right now with some shipping labels. So, in my experience, in the lugar donde yo estoy, este numerito, this number that we have, es un número de identificación, pero de una transacción o de un eh, documento in this case. Um, eh, Carlos, no sé si usted nos puede dar otro insight. For example. Sometimes the sender call is the account to credit pay. Yeah. Okay, so then we have another explanation right there. So puede ser un account. Uh, in my case, porque trabajo con cosas financieras, so the sender is eh, un número de identificación de una transacción. You know, puede mm -hmm. ser money, puede ser artículo. Uh, but I don't know if anyone has any like any other experience. What would be the sender, or can se puede refer to sender as well? Who has worked with shipping labels? Uh, Danny, I remember you mentioned. Yeah, is uh, and the sender um, occasion is como um, uh, Incoter or. Need. Oh, okay, like an ID, mm -hmm. like a sort of ID. Yeah. Oh, okay, yes. okay. ID personal of the company. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Cool. So it can be an ID, a way to identify, you know, the person as yeah. well. Okay, como okay. Un, Thank you for your insight. Como un número de, 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 como un número de envío. Um, no, mm, no precisamente yeah. de envío because ese sería el tracking number. Sería como okay. una forma de traquearlo, pero sender puede ser de una transacción o un documento. Si han alguna vez han hecho un import, uh, el sender era el NIT de la persona que estaba importando, you know, o yeah. el número que estaba en Hacienda. So the number that yes. was in the treasury department. Mm -hmm. So es como okay. algo que identifica a quien envía. So the sender, I would say. Okay, but we can definitely check more on this and uh, si alguien encuentra, you know, or have more information about it, it is welcome and appreciated. So, I have, oh. this is like a, like a recent one. This belongs to one of my friends. And uh, this one is an example, a real example of a shipping label. So, tenemos un par de cositas acá. Solo vamos a buscarlos y, uh, you know, identify them. I don't hear it, teacher. Oh, uh, can you hear me, guys? Am I breaking? Me estoy quebrando. No. Can you hear me well? Thank you. Am I breaking? Me estoy quebrando. No. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, oh. Oh. no, okay. no, no. I got worried. <laughs> Okay, okay. So um, here we have the part of shipping label. It tenemos sent to, a quien se está enviando, address of the recipient. Recipient es la persona que recibe, right? The recipient. A tracking number, who sent it, so quien lo envía, the date and the zip code. I will give you um, two minutes para que identifiquemos esa información so you, you can identify it again. If it works for you, eh, utiliza la forma de anotar. Hay una opción dentro de dibujar donde está el círculo. So you can select the circle and uh, para que, you know, para que todos lo podamos ver o también hay un rectángulo. So I think it's easier if we do it that way. So I'll give you two, three minutes para que me ayuden identificando. Only identifying that information. So send to, a quien se le envía, right? Address of the recipient, a donde está la dirección, the tracking number, what is the tracking number, etc. Right? <coughs> oh, I already see Carlos, you know, drawing. Exactly. So podemos, you know, 
uh, ponerle una estrellita, there are some stars, or simply the circle and the rectangle. I'll give you two minutes. Amazing. I like it because I can see a lot of arrows. Super cool. So, yeah, who said, oh, I think we are missing the first one, like sent two. So, a quien se le envía? So, sent two, who is the recipient? Oh, okay, okay. I see that now. Okay. Yes, very good. So it is sent to, uh, de hecho, acá tenemos a la par ship to, right? Como aquí se les enviando. Address of the recipient. Eh, de rep alguien creo que me borró una. <laughs> I don't see it anymore. Yeah, but the address of the recipient is right here, right? Uh, 91 uh, Hickory Hills. The tracking number, exactly. This is the tracking number. Uh, who sent it? Yes. So Jane Mosley, the date, we have the date on top. So March 24th, uh, uh, here it says 11.30, que es el pago por el shipping, you know, no era gratis. So the person had to pay. And the zip code, that is a uh, five numbers only. Perfect, very cool identifying this part. Nice, nice. So, um, Normally, this is obviously cuando estamos enviando like to um, another country. This is very common. Y vamos a hablar un poquito de esto in the following activity. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Are we okay with this? No. No questions? Okay. Okay. No, so clear. We are going to practice this, you know, and uh, actually, a menos que estemos en el área, uh, mm -hmm. O a menos que importemos algo, veamos algo en like this, and, and we yeah. uh, understand what's going on, right? Porque realmente nos interesa recibir el producto, or the money, or the refund, etc. So up to now, puede que no sé como, you know, we don't see the, the importance of it, but it's totally fine. Take a look at the following thing. Vamos a practicar un poquito, eh, be going to, que es el objetivo de ahora. This is the objective of today. And uh, previously, en el nivel anterior, revisábamos un poquito la estructura de be going to. So I just need some help with the reading. Moses, please, ayúdenme a leer los positive, the positive examples. Okay. I am going to give you the information. Mm -hmm. The airline is going to transport the shipping. Yeah. Your package are going to arrive tomorrow. Where is the package going to arrive? Mm -hmm. Who is going to deliver it? Okay, thank you very much. And Natalie, please help me with the negative. The negative sentences will be going to. I am not going to give you the information. Uh, the, the airline isn't going to transport the shipping. Your package aren't going to arrive tomorrow. Thank you very much. Exactly. So, si recordamos un poquito la parte de the going to, lo utilizamos para hablar de futuro, right? We use it for future activities, 
And uh, we are going to use, be going to, cuando estamos hablando de plans, de algo que ya esté estipulado, or we have a date. So, in the part of be going to, utilizamos la forma de be, que puede ser is, well, am, is, or are, como en simple present tense. And then we talk about future plans this way. For example, I am going to... I am going to buy some books in Amazon, right? So, si alguna vez han comprado en Amazon, buying books is super, super nice and it is not too expensive. So, I'm going to buy some books in Amazon. Tenemos también la forma cortita. ¿Cuál sería la contracción? ¿Cómo lo puedo hacer más rápido? ¿O cómo lo puedo decir más rápido? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Exactly. So I am going to, o la forma informal. So we can say I'm gonna, right? I'm gonna, y le quito el to. I'm gonna buy some books in Amazon. I'm going to buy some books in Amazon. So we are talking about things that we are going to do. Negative sentences, solo hago, le agrego el not acá. I am not. She is not. We are not, y ya es negativo. This is negative already. So, no implica o no necesita de nada más. It's only the not. Positive, I am going to, y eso es todo. Pretty much that's it. Si utilizo terceras personas, eh, for example, like that, Guadalupe is going to order a dress from Alibaba, for example. So here we have Guadalupe is going to, pero no puedo cambiar el verbo. I cannot, no le puedo agregar S, ING, ni nada, porque yo tengo she is going to. So esto me funciona como un auxiliar. Um, ¿Estamos bien? ¿Are we okay so far? Yes, teacher. Okay. So either way, revisemos the following things. Y veamos si quedó claro esa parte de be going to. That's totally fine. Put the words in order and then answer the questions. Vamos a ordenarlas. Here we have like a big mess. Todo está en un desorden. Everything is a really big mess. So put them in order y luego le respondemos, right? So we are going to answer the questions here with a full answer. So primero ordenemos esas palabras. Put them in order, please. I'll give you five minutes. By the way, yo veo por ahí que Dani, eh, que Anthony ya tiene el libro. I think that you have the material already. So very nice. Cool. So si ya tienen el material, si lo imprimieron, you know, awesome. Podemos ir resolviendo los ejercicios and that works a lot. Funciona bastante, you know, ir tomando nota too. Mm -hmm.
Okay, guys, so um, do you have the answers? Do you need more time? Como les está yendo with the sentences? Um, the first is where are they going to pick up the package? Package okay, is so correct on uh, it's not where are no. they going to mm -hmm. pick up the package? The packages, the packages, okay. Oops, sorry. Packages. Okay. Uh, do you have it like this? Todos lo tienen así? Do you have something different? Where are they going to pick up the packages? Todos tenemos lo mismo, guys. What do you have? Yes? Okay, perfect. Perfect. This is good. This is okay. Number two. ¿Quién tiene la segunda? Who has... Who has the second one? Who is going to receive the shipment? So who is going to receive the shipment? The, the shipping, you said? The shipping. Okay. So who is going to receive the shipping? Do you have it like this? Do you have anything different? No, yes. yes like this. Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. What about the last? Who has the last? When is going to arrive the new material? When is going to arrive the new material. Yeah, the new material. Yes. The new material. Okay, guys, tienen esto así? Do you have it like this? Do you have a different? Tell us, please. Give us your opinion on this. Okay. Do you have the same? When is going to arrive the new material? Yes, yeah. the same, something different. Alguien tiene algo diferente? Do you have anything different? When is the new material uh, to arrive? Yes, yes, awesome, exactly. Está super bien. Solo vamos a hacer un pequeño cambio porque necesitamos sujeto. So when is the new material going to arrive? Very good. Solo es una cuestión de mover un poquito, right? So, thank you very much. Exactly. This is the answer. Now, vamos a responderla. We are going to answer these equations right here. Imagine, guys, que están esperando un producto. You're expecting a package porque alguien se los mandó de Estados Unidos or from another country, from Spain, from Italy, etc. Y ustedes lo van a recoger. So, question one. Where are they going to pick up the packages? ¿A dónde lo recogerían? Tell us about your experience. Normally, cuando recogen un paquete like this, ¿a dónde lo recogen? Where do you pick it up? Okay. In the, in the office. At the office, at correos. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Or... The agent of courier. Oh, okay, a the courier. Okay, okay. That is another possibility too. Creo que también existen los boxes. Creo que hay buzones. Boxes? In the street? Yes, in delivery. Oh, if it is delivery. Okay, that could work, definitely. What about two? Who is going to receive the shipping? So, if it is like here in El Salvador, ¿quién lo recibe? Do you receive your shippings? I never receive them because oh. I don't have time. So le pido a alguien, you know, que me lo envíe. I ask somebody to send them over to me. 
So who is going to receive the shipping? Si les envía algo, you know, ¿quién lo recibe normally in your house? Uh, uh, my employer. Your employer. Uh, uh, yes. yes. Your house. Yes. <laughs> Or, okay. or your mother, si los envían en la casa, exactly. If it is to sent to your house, maybe your mother, maybe your sister, o alguien que permanezca en la casa, right? That is very My common son. too. Your son, exactly, your daughter, o si tienen a alguien de confianza, no sé, el vecino. <laughs> so I don't know. My, my, my next door. Uh, uh, yeah, so your, your neighbor, I don't know. Probably it's your family member too. And the last question says, when is the new material going to arrive? In our case, ¿quién trabaja con materiales? Who is expecting some material? Anybody? Hi. Okay. So, Carlos, what about your materials? When are the new materials going to arrive in, to your company? Uh, in this moment, we are in the new project. Mm -hmm. And we are import uh, chemicals. Oh, okay. So they are very ha hazardous, I have to say. When are they coming? Yes. When are they going to arrive? Uh, coming to USA and arrive in the airport. Oh, do you pick them at the airport? What? Do you pick them? So los recogen. Do you pick them at the airport? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, so in, here in the aduana, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, in the exactly in the customs. Pero en este caso, en el caso de Carlos, tenemos una respuesta diferente para number one. Where are they going to pick up the packages? So he said at the airport, right? So tiene que ir hasta allá to pick them up. O oh, if it is a container, exactly. Yeah. So you pick them, you know, in the in a warehouse. In ex, 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 export. Mm -hmm. Or in the export yeah. area, etc. Yes, very good. Now, guys, hablemos un poquito de futuro. Let's talk a little bit about this topic, you know. Uh, again, to talk about future, estamos hablando de cosas. Oh, give me one second. Estamos hablando de um, goals de nuestras metas son nuestros objetivos. So this is why we are using uh, be going to to talk about this. Tenemos un par de preguntitas here. We have a couple of questions and uh, all of them are for future activities. For example, what are, are you doing anything interesting this weekend? So nos van a contar qué es lo que van a hacer. Oh, this weekend I'm going to um, go with my family to the Surf City Championship, you know, to El Puerto de la Libertad, for example, or, or to El Tunco Beach. Are you going, by the way? Alguien va a ir? Are you going? No. Now? Okay. Yes. Uh, now. Yes. I was yes. in the soccer. Oh, you're watching soccer. Okay. <laughs> You're watching Alianza. Come on. <laughs> okay. Are they playing? Is Alianza playing? Is the yes. national are the national the, soccer teams playing? The final. The final. Oh, the really? Final. The champions. The ah, okay. Okay. So, nos van a contar de qué es lo que van a. Alianza en fast. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I I don't, I'm not too much into soccer, so I didn't know. So, utilizamos Be Going To para hablar de esto. Si no vamos a hacer alguna actividad, of course, podemos utilizar I am not going to do it. I am not going to leave my house. I'm not going to do anything, etc. So, podemos tomarle un screenshot, please. Take a picture of this. Give me just one second so we can go and practice as much as possible. So... There we go. So remember, the idea is to talk. No es necesario que lo escriban. You don't have to write it. Just give details. Then todos los detalles que puedan. Every single detail is important. Um, no se limiten a una respuesta, but try to keep on talking. Try to keep on talking, right? So I'll give you five minutes. 
So you can share ideas, you know, pueden tomar nota de las respuestas, that's okay. But share ideas, that is the most important um, goal here. So let's get going, everybody. You got five minutes. Hay un parking. Hay un going on parking. Ah, okay. I am going to play in the parking. Eh, yes. Uh, or, uh, or tourist. No, yes, softball. Ah, play softball. Ah, play softball. Ah, you go, you, you are going to play softball. Eh. Yes. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Very, very fine, very nice. Uh, is, uh, are you meeting anyone in person this week? Si va a tener alguna reunión eh, la semana que la en, en, en persona esta semana eh, no no yo caí a zoom no, no más ah uh, are you going to uh, a class English a English class Yes. Yes. Uh, Mr. Ricardo, eh, encontraste partido de fútbol. No. So, so se, soccer eh, party. Soccer, soccer, soccer party. Así, soccer party. Ah, de, de sí. Hi, guys. Eh, no sé si la pregunta es como los, los partidos, los como Alianza Fas. Yes. Ajá, como van a ver varios, va a ver la final de la Champions. Finish Champion League in the so in matches. the Saturday in oh, the right. in the Sunday uh, mm -hmm. National League. <laughs> okay, yeah. De hecho, no sé qué juega en el Salvador. But yes, they are going ah, to soccer matches. Ah, no, really, teacher. Uh, I like yeah, yeah. I like Aguila, but like no, ten no. years ago, not anymore. No. No. Uh, is fast versus Alianza la final la final de reserva de segunda es, es Águila contra uh, Isidro Metapán creo que es creo Gwen, si Gwen, Gwen, y, y la otra y la otra creo, es fast alianza la de la mayor ¿Cuándo, okay. es la de la, ¿Cuándo es la de la reserva? El domingo. Ah, también. Yes. Ok, ah. ok. Thanks so, for the, so for the information. Ayuda, so, no, yeah, but that's soccer. So, soccer. So, soccer. La CC soccer, es una K, soccer. So, soccer. I'm going to watch the soccer matches, for example. Soccer mm -hmm. Ah, soccer matches. Yes. Guys, what about the rest? Because I haven't, I heard Pedrina, but not tell me. I didn't hear, I didn't hear Anna tell me. I didn't hear Angel. 
Daniel. Oh, Jackie. So Jackie is here as well. Ay, hay más en el grupo, Ticha. Solo nosotros tres estamos. Uh, no, lo que sucede, ya sé que es. Lo que sucede es que por alguna razón no logran ver a las personas que no tienen la cámara activada. So this is why eh, no les aparece. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes, but eh, Angel, Ana, Jackie, ¿nos escuchan? Can you listen to us? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hi, guys. Yeah, Hello. Eh, creería que es por la configuración, como tienen la computadora o el teléfono. So, cuando la camarita se apaga, no se los muestra. Pero sí, aquí están. Aquí estoy aquí y aquí está Ángel también. Mi, mi Jacqueline is lost in the English class. Hello. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you doing here? ¿Cómo les está yendo? How are you? Hi. Why is everybody so quiet? <laughs> Hi guys, ¿por qué están tan calladitos? How are you, Marvin? ¿Todo bien? Is everything good? Hi, fine, fine. Okay, cool. Eh, Carlos, Guadalupe. Jocelyn, ¿es un no. practicando? Did you have the opportunity to practice equations, to talk about your activities? So, so. Okay, so tell me, what are you going to do this weekend? What are your plans for Saturday and Sunday? In my case, the Saturday I will going to, uh, no, I'm going to the work. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. Because, because I need wearing a, a shipment. Oh, seriously? Yes. What? Yes. Mm -hmm. surgeon. Do you work in import and export? <sighs> yes. Ah, okay. Are you sending or are you receiving a product? Uh, the two parts. Mm, okay. I check uh, uh, import and sometimes export. But oh, my, okay. my punto fuerte, my, my strength, my, se lo voy a escribir. I'm going to write it here in the chat. My strength, my strength is, es como mi fortaleza. My, my strength, strength is, is the import. Oh, import. Mm -hmm. okay. What do you import? Uh, raw material. <laughs> Chemicals, eh, carton, or carton. Carton, yes. Eh, ah, okay. Eh, Do you work in a manufacturing company or in a yes. laboratory? Eh, no, no, it's full laboratory. Mm -hmm. It's ABX, manufacturing capacitors. Okay. But all the production is with, with chemicals. Ah, okay. So Chemical, you are in charge with electrical propriety. Oh, okay. So are the chemicals very strong or very dangerous? Yes, explosive, oh, are, Okay, okay, yeah, okay, I'm good. <laughs> wow, and they are very difficult to work with, I imagine, okay. So you yes. are working, you are going to work on the weekend. Guys, what about the rest? Guadalupe, Marvin, what are you going to do on the weekend? Do you have plans for Saturday and Sunday? Guadalupe, I see your lips moving, pero creo que está en mute. I think you're in mute. <laughs> I cannot hear you. <laughs> I, I'm not going to. I'm sorry, no sé si soy yo, pero de repente no, no lo logré escuchar. I couldn't hear you, no sé si habrá como, creo que tiene un poquito de, de... talk to me, please. No, no se oye. No, no, no se escucha, yo creería que hay quizás algún problemita con el, uh, con el puerto de conexión del, del micrófono.
Guadalupe, usted si no se escucha, can you listen to us? Creo que tampoco nos escucha. No, I think she cannot. Hey, Marvin. Hey, Marvin. Hi. Are you, are you doing a nighting stating this weekend? Uh, I am going, I'm going to say the uh, movies in you, in my family. Oh, you're going to see some movies. For example, what type of movies are you going to watch? Uh, the, I, the action. Action movies, okay. Do you have any movie uh, into consideration already? Ya tiene alguna lista? Do you have a list of movies? Uh, no yet, todavía no. Uh, uh, no. Ok, so no yet, podemos usar no yet, como todavía no. Not yet. Uh, no not yet. yet, exactly. Ah, ok, yet. ok, so you're going to watch movies. Guys, what movies do you recommend uh, Marvin to watch? He said action movies, he likes action. Maybe mm -hmm. some with Jan Van Damme? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, so yeah. what do you recommend him to watch? Rocky, Rocky Balboa. Oh, yeah, that works. <laughs> Guadalupe, ya, ya nos, nos escucha un poquito. Can you listen to us? Yes. Oh, ya lo escucho también. I can hear you better. Okay. So what movies do you recommend Marvin to watch? There is a movie that is called Boica. Or bo yeah, Boyka. Uh, so, yeah, you know, a hundred percent. Fear second, fear <laughs> and second third. And three. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They are super good. Jocelyn says, I'm going to go to the church. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Guys, what about the rest? Uh, tenemos más preguntas. No sé si tiene la captura de las preguntas. So, do you have the questions there? So in that way, alguien las puede proyectar and you can discuss them because there are a lot of questions here. For example, are you meeting anyone in person this week? Se van a reunir con alguien? Are you doing anything on Wednesday? Like for next Wednesday, do you have more activities? Um, what are you having for dinner tomorrow? And are you planning anything special for your next birthday? Oh my God, my next birthday is in October. So, of course, I'm going to celebrate it, <laughs> okay? I'm going to, I don't know, I don't have plans, but tell me about yours. When is your birthday? ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? When is your birthday? The, January. The, yes, Marvin? Uh, 30, no, perdón. It's okay. Yeah. Tell me the month. Dígame el mes. Tell me the month. Uh, October. October. Oh, October. My birthday is in October too. My birthday is in on October 6th. And yours? Uh, uh, Thirty. Oh, almost the 31st. <laughs> <laughs> okay, almost the last day, almost Halloween. <laughs> okay, so hay muchas preguntas acá, guys. Don't be shy. No tengan pena en hacerse las preguntas y en practicar. You know, de eso se trata at the end that we can practice as much as possible. So, eh, los dejo un minutito. Ya casi, you know, it's about time. So, I'll give you some time to practice. Uh, please try to practice. Intendemos practicar tanto como podamos. As much as possible, please.
qué chula. ¿Y dónde te quedas? ¿Dónde voy a poner los, los pines? Bájese. Bájate. Thanks everybody. Gracias por regresar. Thank you very much. So, estábamos practicando un par de preguntitas sobre futuro, right? About the activities that we are going to be doing. So, are you going to be doing anything interesting this weekend? ¿Alguien va a hacer algo interesante? Are you going to do anything interesting? Yes, it's, uh, I am going to I am going to watch the soccer match in the Saturday in the Sunday. Okay, so you are going to watch the soccer matches. Are you going to go to the stadium? ¿Va a ir al estadio? No, it's very dangerous. Oh, okay. From home. So you are going to watch them from home. A fire, a fire. <laughs> yeah, no, guys. Yeah. Alianza is going to play, so it is going to be dangerous. Okay. No, yeah. you <laughs> Brian? Gangster. No car. No. No money. Self. No, no credit cards, no cell phone. No, no yeah. con Marvin vamos a ir a otro lado, pero no, ahí en el estadio no. Es peligroso. Brian, por, por Brian, el díganos, beers, díganos eso en inglés. Tell us that, that information in English. <laughs> Teacher, uh, I go uh, uh, to the restaurant, I wash, do the uh, plate. ¿Cómo se dice? Play so, the soccer. De so, so soccer, soccer. Yeah, soccer. Se, lo, se los voy a compartir acá. Soccer matches. So, so, uh, so, so, so very expensive. Uh, 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 the the entrada, no sé cómo se dice. The ticket. The ticket. No, I I can go to the stadium. You can't. You can't. I, I can't go to the stadium. Why not? Because it's more very very ugly. Is oh. For the pandemic. Okay. For the coronavirus. Oh, and because of the coronavirus. So Brian and Marvin are going to go to a restaurant to watch the soccer match. Okay. Yes. Okay. What about the rest of you? Uh, is anybody else going to do something interesting? Brian is going to watch the match from home. Yes, Brian, go ahead. Teacher. I'm going to put the highest Marvin. You, I'm sorry, can you repeat? You are going to? I'm going to cut a Marvin Hires, Hires Marvin. Oh, you're going to cut his hair? You're going to give yes. him a haircut? This is my model. Wow, okay. This is my model. So, Mar Marvin, so, really? Did you say yes? Well, it's Alex, right? So, Alex, did you say yes? Creo que se fue Marvin, okay. Nos dejó en vista. So, <laughs> okay, so, uh, did you say yes? Le dijo que sí a Brian. Did you accept? No, no, no. No yet. No escuchó, no, no escuchó, no entendió. Oh, okay. Okay, Brian says that he is going to cut your hair. Yes, yes. Oh, so you said yes. Okay. Yes. Brian is <laughs> okay. my barber. Wow. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Pray, pray, pray for Marvin. Yeah, pray for Marvin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Pedrina, yes, Pedrina, I'm listening to you. Tell me. I am I am going on party a uh, player softball. Cool, so you are going to play mm. softball. Okay, so you are going to a party. Invíteme, Professional? Sabrina. Invíteme, Do you Sabrina. play in a team? Juega en un equipo? Do you play in a team? Practice. Or with your family? Practice. You practice, but with sí, a team? Invite, practice. Or with your family? Or hobby. I mean, that's super nice. Okay, oh, yeah. I like Pinches. it. Yes, no, I mean, I played, but in the school, so I didn't oh. play softball anymore. Pero si me gustaría, I would like to, to play that. Anybody else? Are you going to do anything interesting? Uh, uh, Norberto? Uh, yes, I am going um, 
visited uh, San Michael City. Really? Are you going to San Miguel? Yes. Where? In, in other co cooperative. Ah, okay, okay. Wow, but San Miguel, I think it's very hot, right? Teacher, teacher. Alex? Yes, Alex? Es que San Miguel, Tepezonte, donde él dice. No, no. Michael, San Michael, he said. <laughs> okay, I understood that San Miguel. Uh -huh, like, like San Miguel, right? The, the main San Miguel city. But I think it's very hot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's pretty, pretty hot. Okay. Okay, guys. Yeah, I think it's kind of hard. So let's go over the last activity of the day, and it is the following. So, um, we are talking about future activities. So imagine that in the future, guys, you decide to buy something online, okay? So, imagínense que quieren comprar algo, pueden buscar el producto, you can search for the product online, that's okay. You can check the price, you can check the shipping. Algunos tienen shipping gratis, otros no, you know. So, this is also your opportunity para poder revisar a little bit. So, you are buying something in Alibaba, Amazon, eBay, or any online store de la que ustedes ya hayan comprado antes. But your product is delayed. So this is very important. You bought something y les mandaron un tracking, right? Porque si fue legal. So <laughs> you received a tracking number. The only problem is that your product is delayed. Ya tuvo que haberles llegado, pero todavía no les ha llegado. So it's not there. Okay. So what are we going to do? First, podemos crear una shipping label. Algo no tan sofisticado like the examples we have, pero sí con la información más importante. That means, let me go back. For example, la fecha, so the date. Um, we can have also ship to. A quien se lo van a enviar, the address, right? So, ¿cuál sería su address? And uh, the tracking number, yeah, that is also very important. ¿Cuál es el número? El tracking number puede ser cualquier número que ustedes inventen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that works. That's okay. Now, it says here, create with a partner, create a conversation where one asks for information about a shipping and the other is an agent. So vamos a tener dos. One person is the customer, la otra persona es el agente from eBay, from Amazon, from Alibaba. And le deben de preguntar, like, hello, estoy llamando because quiero saber qué pasa con mi producto. I want to know what's going on with my product. So, ¿qué le pedirían? ¿Alguna vez han llamado? Have you ever called? Yes. So, no, yes. Never. But imagínense, ¿qué creen que les pedirían these companies? What is something important? Los datos. Los datos, hay un número específico que es bien importante. So what do you think? El número de operación. Yes, El tracking yes, number. Tracking number. Exactly. So usted le puede preguntar, ok, please, what is your tracking number? Y usted se inventa el número, right? Yes. Uh, and then, of course, le podemos pe preguntar el nombre, you know, the address, etc. And uh, something important is, vamos a hablar un poquito del producto. So what is, so, what is going on with your product? Y le puede decir, okay, your product is going to arrive uh, to El Salvador on June the 2nd, on June the 5th, because of coronavirus. Uh, the process is very long. You se le explica qué pasó, right? You can explain y le dice cuándo va a llegar. Pretty much, vamos a crear una pequeña conversación de esto. Again, si lo pueden hacer sin escribirlo, amazing. Si necesitan escribirlo, no hay ningún problema. Toman nota, you know, and we create something similar. Piensen en un producto de ustedes. Ustedes lo están comprando. You are getting this. Um, ¿Qué le gustaría comprar? What would you like to buy? Han revisado en mm. eBay, en Amazon, mm. shoes, a pair of shoes, shoes. a new shoes. cell phone, a new pair of earphones, tablet, a, a tablet. tablet, okay, I would like to buy a watch, so I would a really shield. like a watch, a shield, 
Okay, mm -hmm. yes, I, I would like a yeah. Harry Potter blouse. <laughs> okay, so piensen en algo que les gustaría y busquen algo real. You can Black check metal. Amazon or you can check eBay to do this activity. So I will, give me one second, vamos a crear grupos pequeñitos para que podamos todos practicar and then we come back. Oops, 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 hold on. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. So everybody, tenemos eh, 10 minutos. We have 10 minutes to prepare it. And then we come and we present. Todos vamos a presentar, así que please get ready. Get ready for that. 10 minutes. product the new product okay do you need my number id uh yes 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 it, it was the your your number and uh your my number cell phone. And, and number self please my number id is zero one 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 zero 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 six one uh, one in my cell phone is seven seven eight seven three seven seven five. Okay, you you are you are from El Salvador. Okay. Yes, yes, and... I from I from El Salvador. I pay my product in uh, before March. Okay, I understand. Um, we we have uh, a little problem with uh, the coronavirus. The, some employers have a uh, it, it says, how uh, some employees is uh, is being a con contra the the coronavirus. And uh, we we expect we expect to resolve your problem in uh, next next week. Okay. 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 I wait for my product, and the next week. Okay. Thanks for uh, for ayudarme. No sé cómo se diría. For help, no, I don't. For help, for help me. Uh, yes, that, that works. Hi. <laughs> yes, that can be like, thank you for the clarification. Thanks for the information or thanks for helping me. Uh, so that's totally fine. Um, 
quizás podríamos agregar un par de preguntitas más, como por ejemplo, uh, are you going to send the product to my house? Or am I going to pick the product in the, in the, I don't know, in the office, for example, or where are you going to send the product? So podemos hacer como más preguntas adicionales, but I like it. That sounds super good and like very, very uh, real to me. So we can also include Brenda. No sé si Brenda ya llegó a su casa. Brenda, are you home? Are you good? Maybe not. Okay, so in the meantime, les dejo para que sigan practicando. Entre más detalles le pongamos, muchísimo mejor. But you're doing a super cool job. So continue that way. Yes. <coughs> Recording in progress. Oh my God, ya me, ya me, how do you call it? Ya me exhibió. <laughs> so I, I was, yeah, you were told that I'm here. So anyway. No, no, ¿Qué le ha puesto esa alerta, teacher? Um, creo que es parte de los settings, de los nuevos um, avisos, uh, de los nuevos cambios. De Zoom. Lo, pues, I think so. ¿Cómo les está yendo? How are you doing here? Estamos, ¿Tenemos estamos, la conversación? Ya casi. Estamos armando la ticha. Ok, estamos ready. So, um, si, va, si vamos a escribirla, alguien quizás pueda proyectarla. You know, you can present a Word document para que todos tengan visibility, so that works. O, mm. o podemos ir practicándola en el camino and, uh, eh, para que vayamos practicando pronunciación también, you know, and, and make it easier. So that sounds good. Bye, okay. okay. Empecemos, Pedrina, eh, como cuando me llamaba, hello, I have a question. Hello, I had a question. Hello, how can I help you? Este, este de comprar. I, would say I want to buy a tablet. I want to buy a tablet. How do you need it? Buy a tablet. Hmm? How, how do you need it? Eso es como cómo la necesita, para que me dé como las especificaciones. Este, sería una sencilla. A basic table. A basic table. A basic table. Sí. Eh, Ajá, entonces, a base de table, eh, cost is eh, 100 dólares. Sí, sí, sí. Sorry, uh, just to confirm, so you are talking about a tablet, right? Or a table? Mm -hmm. Tablet. Oh, a tablet, okay. Okay, okay, we're good. Le dije que de casi one hundred dollars. Ajá. Eh, what I delivery? Inventando. ¿Qué le da risa, Pedro? Pues sí, inventando. No, está bueno. Vale, contésteme, pues. Yes, no, pero sí. Está súper bien porque son las preguntas que normalmente nosotros hacemos. So, usted le puede preguntar, ok, um, me lo van a enviar en la casa. Are you going to send it to my house? Tengo que pagar. Do I have to pay? Is there a shipping fee? o debo de pagar el shipping, a mí todas esas cosas, 
por supuesto, usted puede hacer más preguntas, super nice. Entonces yo le digo, yes, we have a delivery. Ok. Eh... Que ver. ¿En qué tiempo? ¿Cómo digo en qué tiempo? ¿En qué tiempo recibo? So, in the chat, eh, I shared some ideas. For example, eh, the shipping fee is como lo que pagamos, el cargo por envío. Uh, is the shipping free? So, si es gratis, right? Um, or the, the, the shipping is included. Y la última pregunta, it says, when am I going to receive the tablet? So, cuando la voy a recibir? When am I going to receive the tablet? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. So. Uy, ya no vio la ticha. Ups. Nos agarró con nos agarró con copia. Sí. Vaya. Um... Hi, Mr. Ricardo. Hello, Mr. Ricardo. Eh, hello. hello. Mr. Eh, bueno. uh, can, oh. you, can you help me? Ana? Help My me. name is uh, Lex Fuentes. Eh, I. A ver. Ya me olvido cómo se dice eso. <risa> Mira, me okay. me hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, veo por okay. acá que, que tienen como en, es, en español, everything. Los agarró copiando. Ya, ya, los, ya, los, ya los agarré por ahí. No, I mean, it's, okay. no, it's good. Solamente eh, my only recommendation is no intenten traducir letra por letra o expresión por expresión. Oh. So, porque ahí si sí nos vamos a trabar todos y uno y no vamos a ver qué hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, si hay una palabra que no la conocen, it's okay. Pero probablemente hay otra forma de decirlo. Por ejemplo, veo ahí que dicen, eh, me podría regalar su nombre. No lo traduzcamos literal. No busquemos la palabra, me podría regalar. Sino, your names. What is your name? Your names. <laughs> Exacto. Your names. Es como lo mismo, pero ustedes busquen la forma de adecuarla. Para no traducir palabra por palabra. Exactly. No lo traduzcamos palabra por palabra. That's my only recommendation. But then you're good. <laughs> Tenemos un par de minutos nada más, así que, you know, let's go. <laughs> let's practice. Okay, teacher. Hey, Mr. Ricardo. Sí, aquí estoy. Com compartirla, pues, la, la seguimos traduciendo. Sí, ahí está, voy, esperando. Ah, espera, espera, espera. A ver si se las trae, quiero ver. Ok, espera. When, when is going to arrive? The... Arrive. <laughs> arrive. <laughs> Vaya, aquí está. Wow, ok. Vaya, uh, okay. nos quedamos Hello, congelados. Eh, señor, se, mis, eh, Mr. Dani, ahí está. Ventura. Ah, hi, Mr. Ricardo. Uh, ¿Puedo ayudarme, por favor? No, a veces puedes ayudarme en algo y yo le tengo que ofrecer ¿Qué le ah. en qué le puedo ayudar. Es what help you what, what I can I help you en qué puedo ayudarte. Ajá. What can I help you? 
Ah, uh, how can I help you? Uh -huh. Can, 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 Yes, I uh, read a uh, packet, uh, case, I uh, know, intelligent case. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, uh, why did you uh, order este, number, order, order number? Why did you no order number? Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. yes, a uh, one in a eighteen seven. Ah, okay. Uh, please moment uh verify uh, your order. Uh, yes. oh, uh okay, your order is in aduana. Uh only the process uh, in uh, mm -hmm. e, uh, is right para is right for no no sé cómo se dice retirar Revisa. retirarnos cómo eh, creo que es eh, retirar no sé retirar recoger pick up, pick up. Ah, lo que estábamos retirando, lo que estaba ocupando, pick up. And where are they going to pick up the package? Ajá, en el ejemplo estaba. Entonces sería... Lo vas a guardar. Ok. Uh, okay. Lo que quedaste es eh, recoger. Ah, ahí eh, está. Ajá. Ajá. Oh, ok. 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 Un placer, ah, pero ah, siempre... repeat, repeat, ahora ya, ya, ya uh, repeat with uh, Miss. Hi guys, thanks a lot for coming back. ¿Cómo estuvo su práctica? How was your practice? Very nice. Nice. Escogieron yeah. algo que les gustaría comprar. Did you find anything? Yes. What What did you select? What product did you choose? Shoes. Oh, a pair of shoes. Okay. Shoes. How about the rest? What did you select? Yeah. Did you select anything? Revisaron las páginas? Did you check Alibaba, like eBay, like the real thing? Oh, self direct o sal. ¿Cómo se llama? Venta directa. Like a direct uh, yeah. purchase. Yes, purchase, purchase. Okay. okay. From this. From this. Oh. Company. Okay, okay, the okay. First nice, yeah. that's okay. So guys, I would like to listen to some of your conversations. I think that they can be very interesting. And especially because it's algo real. This is something real que I don't know. Probably you said mañana encuentren algo and it's like, oh, no está en El Salvador. I need to buy this. 
I need to get it. Y eso le va a pasar, you know, like, oh, my product is delayed. Quiero un reembolso. Or this is something real that we can't find. So, volunteers, do I have any volunteer? I can select victims. I'm good with that. <laughs> But I would like to know. Pedrina, yes. Yes, Pedrina. Let's do it. Dani, okay, perfect. Ana, Ana, Ana. Oh, Ana, tell me. Okay. okay. Cool. We listen to you guys. Okay, okay. Maya. Maya, you can do it. You can do it. Maya. Okay, bye. Espérame, espérame, Ani. Vaya, ahorita. Bye. Eh, hello, I have a question. What can help you? I want to buy the tablet. What do you need it? Um, a basic ta tablet. Um, and what is the cost? Uh, they cost hundred dollar. Uh, do you have delivered? Yes. How long do I receive it? Uh, Un wicker. What is striking number, please? Este, tracking, tracking is number is one, two, three, four. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's very good. <laughs> that was very nice, girl. So tell me, cool, Padrina. That was super cool. I like it. Thank you. So they were buying, so completaron la compra and everything, you know, and they provided a tracking number. Very good job. Thank you. Okay, who is next? Who wants to go next? My group. Okay, perfect, Dennis. Yeah. Who is in your group? Barbie Lopez. Um... Natalie. Okay. Oh, awesome. Awesome. We want to listen to you. Um, Sandra Richards. Vamos, Marvin. Okay. So whenever you're ready. Ring, ring. Oh, Natalie. Hello. Hello. Good night. My name is Marvin Lopez. I am curious about the information shipping of shoes. Hello, Marvin. Uh, would you give me the number track, please? Uh, it's, it's, nine, it's, it's nine zero for one. Okay. Uh, call me a moment, please. Uh, entra la llamada para Dani. Hello, Dani. I have, call, I have a call about shipping of shoes. Hi, good evening. Uh, give me please the the name the name uh, river. Uh, yes. Uh, his name is Marvin Lopez. He have a number track nine zero four one. Oh sure. Is is the I going to arrive? Going to. Tomorrow of mirror day. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for information. You're welcome. Bye, Natalie. Uh, hello, Mr. Marvin. Uh, I have your information. Your shipping are right tomorrow at, mid at middle day. It's tomorrow. Okay. Thank. Thank information. Bye. Of course, bye. Okay, amazing. I like it. Incluso escalaron la llamada and everything. <laughs> so you escalated that and you asked for more information. Very cool. And you provided like a quick answer. So thank you very much. We do have time for one more. Veo a Norberto levantando la mano. Norberto, amazing. <laughs> thank you. So let's go with your group. Who was in your group, Norberto? You can do Norberto. Guadalupe, Carlos, and Brian. Okay, so we want to listen to you guys. Hello, my packet is delayed. Hello, hello. Hello, thanks for call to UPS. What is your name? It's Guadalupe Lopez. Okay, Guadalupe. 
Uh, what is your tracking number? This uh, that will be fifteen twenty five twenty five. Okay. Who is the owner of package? Is Nor Norberto. Okay, Norberto. What is the description of your package? Uh, Norberto, please give the description. Our wife shows a uh, brown eye, sports size 40. Okay. Uh, only. Okay, our shoes. Uh, where is the country of origin? Uh, the Maryland. Okay. USA. Sorry for the delay, Norberto and Guadalupe, but your package is in Guatemala, waiting fly uh, next week. I hope your package arrives next Monday. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for calls to UPS. Wow, that was super fast. <laughs> okay, very nice, and I think that the the experience about asking for every detail is more than noticeable. So that was very cool. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, I think we do have time. No, we don't have time for another one, but that was very good. Thank you so much for that. Antes de irnos, solo déjeme confirmar asistencia. Give me just um, one minute here. Let me just make sure I got everybody. So I was missing, a, let me see. Well, this person is there. Present teacher. There. Yeah, right now, let me just take a look here. Okay, uh, so <laughs> Anadelmi, solo me confirma, please, that you are right here. Uh, Anadelmi. Present teacher, Thank I am you. here. Brenda. Brenda, Brenda. No. No, okay. Um, just been just she's there. Okay. Oh, uh, let me see. Ignacio. Ignacio. Jose Ignacio. Ignacio is right mute. there. It's mute. Yeah, it's I mute. think so. Present teacher. Creo que también la primera vez I couldn't get him because of that. Yeah. Uh, she is there. Okay. Let me see. Norbert. Rene Osvaldo. Creo que vi a René some minutes ago. Es que él está en turno, creo. Okay, but no recuerdo si, si, recuerdo haber visto su nombre, but I'm not sure. Okay, let me just check it out. Eh, Marvin Alexander López. Marvin ya está con Present, nosotros. Present teacher. Thank you very much. And Ingrid Magali Rivas. Yes, aquí estoy. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, amazing. So thank you guys, gracias enormes por conectarse one more day with us. Mañana tenemos la última sesión de la semana. Recuerden que tenemos las tareas hasta el día de mañana que completarlas, las que aparecen en plataforma. El resto de tareas que están en discusión tienen un par de días más para hacerlo. Tómense okay. su tiempo, you know, no se preocupen, pero sí tómenle como un par de minutitos para, porque es desarrollo personal, ¿ya? Eh, tengo tareas pendientes con alguno de ustedes. Carlos, creo que le escribí, solo eh, quería confirmar su número para poder enviarle las tareas que hablamos en la session one on one. Eh, let me see, eh, Miss Rodas, también tenemos tarea por ahí pendiente. Eh, y Pedrina me regaló un par de minutitos, please, antes de, de que se vaya. <ríe> ok, los demás, nos vemos el día de mañana, que descansen, have a good night. Bye, good night. Bye, guys. Bye, good night, good night bye. everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. Permítame, Pedrina, give me just some minutes. <ríe> me just some time and ahí está <laughs> ok gracias miss vamos a aprovechar que tenemos one on one ok para ver un par de, de temitas eh, pues nada primero quiero comenzar agradeciéndole porque siempre de las primeras que yo veo conectadas antes de iniciar la clase ya está acá y una know, 
eh, como le comentaba la vez anterior, me gusta mucho el empeño que está poniendo, el escuchar la hora de What's Like, wow, wow, cool, estamos mejorando pronunciación, estamos mejorando vocabulario, así que realmente me siento muy orgullosa de su avance, I'm super happy, y pues nada, sigamos le metiendo ganas, right? Um, yes. ¿Cómo se siente right now? ¿Hay algún, yo sé que vamos iniciando, pero ¿hay algún tema por ahí que se me le haya quedado pendiente? Uh, ¿Que le gustaría que revisemos? ¿O hay una habilidad que, que siente que le está costando un poquito? Sí, más que todo vaya las contracciones, pero es el can, lo de ayer. Lo del can. can, uh -huh. can o sea, esa parte me cuesta bastante identificarla. Okay. Quizás por la pronunciación de las negativas. Ok, como el, el cambio en la entonación. Exacto, ajá. de okay. por sí a mí me cuesta la pronunciación bastante, okay. pero ahí yo siento que, uy, ayer, ayer daba vía en esa parte. No, no, pero no, no se preocupe, no, no es algo como, vamos, va, si gusta, digamos lo siguiente. Algunos compañeros lo que estoy haciendo es dejándoles tareas extra y no dejándole un par de actividades, okay. eh, Está bien. precisamente porque es desarrollo personal. Hay temas que, por ejemplo... Eh, algunos les cuesta un poquito gramática, pero quizás a usted no. Entonces, lo que estamos uh -huh. haciendo es eh, identificando lo que más le está causando un poquito de dolor de cabeza y atacar ese tema, right? Atacar esa habilidad. Sí. Entonces, vamos o sea, a trabajar. A mí que todo la, la pronunciación, si le digo, uh -huh. yo estoy bastante escuchando lo que son en el Inter. Uh -huh. Hay unas partes donde usted puede escuchar pronunciación. Claro. Entonces, claro. de palabras, verbos y esas cosas. Pero sí, cuando empecé estaba peor. Ahora siento que ya más o menos. Pero me alegra mucho. No, en realidad sí. Yo puedo ver su avance, puedo ver su mejora. Y espero también que usted lo vaya notando, right Every day. Vamos, eh, le voy a dejar todos los días. Bueno, tal vez no todos los días porque no la quiero abrumar con mucha tarea. Pero sí, al menos dos, tres veces por semana. Que usted me escuche un audio, que me escuche una lectura. Y luego okay. usted me grabe, you know, usted se va a grabar y me envíe el audio para que de okay. esa manera eh, practiquemos pronunciación y al igual que con pronunciación va a venir la parte del vocabulario también. Vamos a ir okay. en pre sí. Y la idea es, pues, re, si es necesario grabarla 20 veces, no hay ningún problema. Okay. Lo importante es que usted diga, uh, qué bonita me escucho, fin. you know. I listen to myself y me siento orgullosa de cómo suena. That is going to be the... Nuestro objetivo, right? Okay. Eh, si gusta, revisamos esta parte de las positivas y negativas. Deme un par okay. de ejercicios, perdón, deme un par de ejemplos eh, de cosas que usted puede hacer. What can you do? Eh, sería, I, con, I can't, I can't do, o play, play, softball, softball. Um, yeah, softball. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué es, más? Eh, uh -huh. I can, I can do. Eh, eh, Making pupusas. Yes, perfect. Okay, so you can make pupusas. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Give me, tell me more. Tell me more about I, you. I can do. Sing it too. Mm -hmm. Sing it too, ah, ah, I can, mm -hmm. I can cooking galletas. Ooh, no sé delicious. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can, I can, podemos usar make o podemos usar la palabra bake, que es hornear. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. ah, I'm going hornear. to live it like I can bake cookies. Okay. Okay. What about things you cannot do? Tell me something you cannot do. Okay. El cannot. Mm -hmm. Se las haga negativas. Okay, okay. Bye. I can, I can do no, I can not play a software. Um, okay, soccer, let's say. I cannot play soccer. Okay, uh -huh. okay, I can play soccer. I, I can't make pupusas. Yo no puedo hacer pupusas. Okay, I can make, dígame algo más que no puedo hacer. Lasaña, Bye. can you make lasaña? Sí, eh, sí se las puedo hacer. <laughs> okay, what about something? Pizza? Can you make pizza? 
<risa> vale, entonces, <risa> vaya, I, no, I cannot eh, pancake. Oh, ok, pancake, pancake is good. Ok, um, siempre que cuando nosotros decimos I can't, eh, I can't. pancakes, cuando decimos can't, Usted ya dijo, yo no puedo. Entonces, ah. no, es, no es necesario que le agregamos el not otra vez. ¿verdad? Ah, ahí ya vio, ahí es donde yo me pierdo. No, 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 it's ok, it's ok. De hecho, es bastante común, porque como es bien cortita la palabra, nos confundimos. Pero mm. si usted me dice, por ejemplo, hay dos formas. Esta es una, okay. I cannot. Así completa, cannot. sin contracción. I cannot play soccer. I cannot, I play cannot soccer. make pancakes. I cannot make pancakes. Exactly. Ahora, vamos a hacerlo más corto porque inglés es eso, acortar todo lo que decimos. Okay, Entonces okay. ahora eso se convierte en I can't. I can't play soccer. soccer. Exacto. Ya no es necesario que digamos no porque ah. ya lo dije dentro de can. Uh -huh. okay, y la otra quedaría I can make pancake, pancakes. I can't make pancakes. Exactly. Very good examples. They are super cool. Ahora practiquemos pronunciación. Okay. ¿Qué, ¿A qué se refiere con pronunciación? Eh, bueno, de hecho es entonación, no mucho es pronunciación, sí. sino entonación. Uh -huh. Entonces, entonación significa que estas tres palabras, cuando yo las diga, las voy a decir un poquito más fuerte porque yo quiero decir que yo sí lo puedo hacer. Okay. Entonces, por ejemplo, yo tengo la primera y es como I can play softball. Como cuando I, bailamos, ¿verdad? Que subimos, sí. bajamos. Okay. Okay. So, I can play I, softball. I can play softball. Wait. I can make pupusas. I can make pupusas. Un poquito más fuerte. I can make pupusas. I can make pupusas. Ok, la primera. I can, I can make pupusas. Vamos a pronunciar que en un poquito más corto. I can play softball. I can play softball. I can make pupusas. Uh, I can make pupusas. I can make pupusas. I can make pupusas. Ok. I can bake cookies. A I can bake cookies. Cookies, exactly. Okay, one more time. I can play softball. I can be, I, no. I, I can play, can I can play, play softball. I can play softball, softball. I can make pupusas. Uh, I can make pupusas. I can bake cookies. I can bake cookies. Very good, very good, exactly, exactly. Ahora en negativas, vamos a cambiar un poquito la forma como la pronunciamos. Como cuando estamos cantando, right? Que de repente el cantante sube mucho la voz. Entonces, es lo que vamos a hacer. I can play soccer. I can play I soccer. Can play soccer. Una vez más. I can play soccer. I can play soccer. Ok, vamos con la primera. Vamos a practicar la primera. I can play softball. I, I, uh, uh, I, can. I can I can play, play soccer. softball ahora negativa uh, I can play I soccer can play soccer exacto, ese cambio que usted acaba de hacer es la diferencia I can play softball I can play uh, soccer okay. pronunciamos más fuerte ahora la segunda I can make pancakes I can make pancakes Ahora digamos que podemos hacer pupusas. I can make pupusas. I can make pupusas. Exacto, exacto. So, esa es entonación. Hacemos okay. un pequeño cambio acá. I can make pupusas. I can make, I can pupusas. make pancakes. I can make pancakes. Exactly. Y de hecho se le escucha el cambio. So, I can listen to the change. Okay. And that's very good. So, nuestra primera tareita va a ser uh, like this. Ok. Con el make, con, perdón, con el can and can. Escríbame cinco ejemplos y cinco. Cinco positivos, cinco negativos. Se graba, record your voice, ok. Y me manda el audio. You send the audio to me. Okay. Pueden ser las mismas positivas y luego las convierten en negativas. Para okay. que vayamos practicando eh, la parte de entonación y la parte de pronunciación. Ok, teacher. Amazing. Así que Pedrina, sigamos adelante. Está haciendo okay. un súper buen trabajo. Así que felicidades. Congrats. Gracias. <ríe> La dejo de descansar. Ya le robé más tiempo. No, 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 Así no. Que, que descanse y espero su audio. Oiga. Ok, teacher. Mañana se lo mando. Amazing, amazing. Que descanse, Miss. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.